look yourself in the mirror and you want to start complaining about how flat your nose is do you know what you do hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your get comfort and in today's video we'll be talking about how to build your self-confidence so comparison they say is a thief of joy all what we do most of the time is compare ourselves to to others what they are achieving what they've achieved and what we haven't achieved and in the course of comparing ourselves to others we forget all the things we've actually achieved and the thing is that when you keep comparing yourself to others and forgetting what you have achieved in your own life it actually ends up making you feel really sad and displeased with your life but the, the truth is that most people online won't show you all what they are suffering they won't put it up on social media but then you're in your corner maybe most times you're even better than these people but because you've decided not to appreciate whatever you have it looks as if you're not progressing and then the comparison comes in if there are people you're following on social media that whenever they make a post and you see their post you start feeling insecure uncomfortable you start feeling so less about yourself you start thinking of how how much of a failure you are please 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 unfollow these people unfriend unfollow these people because i really don't see how why you should be following people that whenever you see their post you start thinking about your life you start thinking about what you've not achieved for your mental health unfollow these people most times it comes in a place of envy yes even at that please unfollow so that the envy stops and sometimes too i think you should take um a break from social media to detox it will really help you each day you wake up make a conscious effort to be better than you were yesterday so instead of um trying to compare yourself with other people just say today i'm going to be better than i was yesterday so work on yourself to be better than you stop saying sorry for every little thing i'm not saying that when you offend someone that you shouldn't apologize you say sorry when you bump into things people offend you and you say sorry because you want peace to reign but now this affects your self-confidence so instead of saying sorry all the time but like for instance you want to ask someone a question and you're saying i'm um, sorry you please no you don't say sorry please excuse me instead of saying sorry especially we nigerians we do that a lot but that's not even what i'm talking about right now okay you've had a a really long day or someone offends you and trying to explain to someone else like this was what happened or this was how my day went and at the end of saying it you say oh sorry for boring you with my talk why would you do that instead of saying sorry you say thank you for listening to me rant I think that's way better than saying sorry for boring you with my talk. You saying sorry all the time would really affect your self-confidence. Saying thank you empowers you to an extent and it gives you that self-confidence that you don't have to beg from someone else to it. It's coming from within. Most of us, at the end of each day, we feel we haven't achieved anything. So now here's what you do. At the end of each day, make a list of what you've achieved for that day. You see that you've actually been doing a lot. You've been doing a whole lot for yourself. So when you make a list of all the things you've achieved is each day, you will see that you are actually doing well in life. And then it will help you to have a goal of each day. Like, okay, when you wake up today, what am I going to achieve? So that I'll have something to write on my list at the end of the day it helps improve your personal life too learn to turn your negative thoughts into positive ones whenever that voice comes to tell you that you can't achieve this you can't do this tell the voice that you will do it and this is how you're going to do it it helps you build your self-confidence and by saying this you actually you start making plans on how to achieve that very thing the enemy is telling you that you won't achieve <laughs> When you wake up in the morning and look yourself in the mirror and you want to start complaining about how flat your nose is do you know what you do i compliment as ever oh this nose fits my face so perfectly maybe if i'd had a pointed nose it wouldn't have been fine on me mm. learn to compliment yourself all the time tell yourself how beautiful you are how wonderful you are how 
just compliment yourself all the time by the time you wait for people to start telling you how beautiful you are and you're not getting it it affects your self-confidence so compliment yourself and when people see how you you've loved yourself from the inside they start giving it to you from the outside so learn to compliment yourself and learn to turn your negativity into positivity life is too short to live in negativity imposter syndrome you applied for a job and you got this job and then you're feeling unqualified are you, are you sure i can do this i don't understand what do you mean they're calling you to come speak to people or to talk to people or to teach people something they feel you you are doing well and you're there doubting yourself why did they pick you so many people applied for this position but they picked you because they know that you're doing very well but there you are doubting yourself why do you think you're not qualified so are you saying those people that choose you doesn't know anything? They picked it because you're good enough. There were other people that came for this audition, but so in, in thousands of people and you were picked, you, you deserve that position. Go get it. Believe in yourself because others actually believe in you. So most of us, especially ladies, we don't accept compliments. When someone compliments you, oh, you're beautiful, your dress is beautiful, your hair is beautiful. So thank you, smile, oh my god, thank you, accept that compliment, blush, show them you're happy, don't say, ah no, I'm just there, Jaya, are you sure? You are beautiful, yes you are, your dress is fine, and also learn to compliment people, it helps build their self-confidence too, Try while you're trying to build your own self-confidence, help others to build their self-confidence, if someone dress is fine, compliment that person, tell them, don't say it in your mind, tell them, tell them their hair is fine, tell them you like their bag, just tell them their shoes, anything, just tell them, it helps boost our self-confidence, it's making you feel better, it's making the other person feel better too. <laughs> learn to say no most of us don't say no because you want to please everyone if you know your table is full and you can't accommodate any other thing and someone asks for a favor from you and you know you cannot do it please learn to say no yes say no politely when you accept to do this you end up disappointing yourself and disappointing the person involved or you end up wearing down yourself mentally say no for your mental health say no for yourself say no for you and learn to take care of yourself you can't do everything all by yourself learn to take care of yourself by saying no there's this particular thing that whenever you have it with you you tend to get a lot of compliments from people it might be a dress it might be a shoe it might be a bag whatever it is use it often and if you can get more of it, please do. Just use it often. I think I have a dress like that. This particular dress, maybe I'll put the dress here. Okay, apart from the compliments I get outside, whenever I wear this particular dress, I'm really, really comfortable. I'm confident. I feel like I can do anything. The color suits my skin. It makes me look so, it makes me look so feminine. I, I think that dress, I've put it on like, how many times? 1,000 times this year. So if you have a dress like that, a bag, a pant, a top, wear it almost all the time. So there must be at least one thing you are really, really good at. Being good at what you do helps improve your self-confidence and self-worth. And if you don't know what you're really good at, you can ask your friends, ask family, ask friends, ask them what they feel you're really good at. So when they tell you, try to improve on it and be really good at it. So you don't have to be perfect, but be good at it. If you don't know anything you're really good at, I think you should enroll to learn a skill. You can learn how to sew, how to bake how to sing anything just learn it and be really good at it so it's help improves your self-confidence <laughs> teaching caring and mentoring others is actually a way of self-care and self-confidence and when you're giving out love to others the love comes back to you so loving others would help you love yourself no so one is hundred percent and confident in all areas of their lives but there are changes you can make in the way you do certain things that can help you 
build yourself thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope these few tips of mine would help you in building your self-confidence if there are topics you'd want me to talk about please drop them in the comment section below and also if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my youtube channel comment like and share this video see you in the next video